everybody, how are you doing at home? Great to have uh, our like South American non-official open. Like last year was in Buenos Aires, Argentina. This time is well, it's TTS. It's official. It's, it's official in my heart, though, Pedro. It's official yeah. in my heart. Lima, Peru. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Awesome, awesome. We're going to have a great time today. Uh, sorry about the, the mute there. Again, my, my we were messing with some stuff, and it looks like one of my chains isn't, uh, isn't working. But that's neither here nor there. We're looking forward to getting, uh, getting started here. Pedro, let's go ahead and ro run down the list while I get everything ready for people, uh, people at home. Okay, so on your left, it's uh, Nicholas Tobin. Nicholas Tobin is bringing a triple Jedi. Uh, list one is Plokun in the Delta 7 with uh, the Delta 7B configuration and the new force power patience. And then we have Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker both in the Eta 2, um, both with Predator and Ion Cannon, the first Jedi that can actually use uh, talents, not just. Force upgrades. And on the other side is Peruvian Juan Carlos Ruiz. He is bringing, at least as he has been playing for quite a while, it's uh, General Grievous in the bubble app with uh, the title and the Imperium plating. He has also two hyenas, the bombardment drones, um, with proximity mines. The, those are the, the hyenas that can launch the mine instead of dropping it. And he has three Trade Federation drones with their configurations, that mean the strats, and Discord missiles. All right, I'm about halfway there. Uh, who do you think has the advantage in this matchup? Um, I, I would like to, um, Juan Carlos to win because he's, he's, he's the Peruvian guy. He's, he's one of the, of, of the local players. Um, but I, I haven't seen any action of the of the Ita yet. So there is the... Um, okay, I, I mean, you have seen some Ace, Ace has been, been, been played, uh, like um, the only Aces or some, some Jedis, but the Ita are new, new stuff here. Um, that could really help Nick, because uh, I doubt that Juan Carlos have played against the Itas. But also on the other side, the Itas are three, three hull each. So if Juan Carlos can, let's say, drop a proxy mine, launch a proxy mine on one of the Itas, or get one Discord missiles on one of the Jedis, uh, they are going to be in really good trouble. So I'm going <laughs> they'll be, to say... They'll be sad very fast. <laughs> yeah. We, we, we've seen that at the beginning of uh, episode three. Revenge of the Sith, <laughs> yes. Obi Wan got got some Discord missiles, and he he got out safe because of our tweet. There is no more tweet to hear, so <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be hard to get rid of those of those uh, boost droids. Serpent apartment droids. All right, guys, I am very very close to being done. I'm just double checking all the stuff here. Okay, looking for. Just making sure. Ah, I found the mistake. So, just want to double check here. We have two bombardment drones, right? Is that that's the one that yep. we have here? Two bombardment drones. Yep. Four Both vultures. All uh, of three, them. Three vultures. Three trade. Three trade federation drones. All of them with the strats. All of them with discord missiles. Got it. Discord missile. Boom, 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 boom. Is that 190 points? Does that sound right? Uh, Ten 90, point bid. 99. It should be broken because it's it's grievous with uh, plating. Ah, there um, it is. Sorry, Uban. I didn't have it selected as grievous. There it is. Found it. Small things. Small things. Small things. And uh, but Nick, he's going with one eighty-eight. That's a lot of of bit. And this is Juan Carlos, right? Just want to make sure I have Juan that right. Juan Carlos, yes. Juan All Carlos right. Ruiz. If you want to have his last name, R U I C. Well, there, there is not a bunch of, of Juan Carlos in, in Peru, so, so if there is any Peruvian watching at home, <laughs> mm -hmm. he, they, they know they know who's playing. 
All right. It's hilarious. Hilarious to see people say, there's no overlay. I'm literally talking about the fact that I'm making the overlay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So you we don't have... Say, just... JC. Oh, Gobble, how's it going, buddy? Hello, hello, hello. Sorry. <laughs> so this is our, our T.O. <laughs> you scared me. I was like, who is this random voice in the background? <laughs> No worries, no worries. So we haven't opened up the betting quite yet. I know you guys like to choose your champion. I am getting there. Thank you guys for your patience. Just working out those round one, uh, round one kinks here. So we can go ahead and start the choose your champion betting now. Go ahead and choose your champion. Um, now, you said, uh, Pedro, that you thought that uh, you, you'd like to see Nicholas uh, maybe do some work here with these new Jedi, right? Yes, uh, especially because of the, uh, how do you say, this very uh, good combination about Anakin Skywalker's ability, having to work with the Obi-Wan and the Obi-Wan ability, having to work with the Anakin. Uh, so um, it, it should be fun. It, sh it should be fun. Uh, people in the chat are talking about um, the Ion Cannon. I mean, Ion Cannon is fun. Ion Cannon is... Um, I, I think if, if you don't want to rely on your bullseye and having to somehow align that bullseye in order to get your three dice attack, mm -hmm. um, I think Ion Cannon is your safest choice because it's already a three dice gun. Right. Uh, the problem here is uh, how many damage are you sure you are going to do per round? Because those hyenas, if you are only doing dealing them one damage per round, you're going to have... It's going to take a lot of, of your time to, to take one out of the, of the table. Yeah, I think the Ion Cannon there likely is just an opportunity to have a three dice attack when you don't have that bullseye lined up, right? <clears throat> and it just it's giving you that, um, th that flexibility. I think in this matchup, it hurts, definitely. It's gonna gonna be hurting just a little bit, but I think the goal is gonna be, especially with the number of ships and how we, how you can see Juan Carlos has a strong cluster, especially of those vultures. He should be able to get that bullseye lined up pretty pretty easily. I'm uh, I'm excited to see what happens, and like I said. Everybody at home, you, the Choose Your Champion betting is up and live. I want to remind you that today, all of our rounds are brought to you by Curl Paw Creators. There's no coupon code. Uh, they have their Black Friday sale going on. And you, a really cool new item on the shop that you can actually pick up is the official Gold Squadron podcast LED lamp. Okay. Gold Squadron LED lamp that... Uh, is super super awesome. All right, you you have a a gold squadron LD lamp. Yeah, I I have to check that. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. That. You can also you can also get uh, something <laughs> uh, something customized there if you'd like as well, and just let them know in the chat that GSP uh, or in the notes box that GSP sent you, and uh, that's that's it. But yeah, the the discount is automatic this weekend. Go ahead and grab it now. now looking at the approach, um, I will tell you a little bit of history on Nick. Nick is a very cagey player. Very cagey player. Um, I When I saw the 8-2, I wasn't surprised to see uh, him play it. He this, this is his kind of ship. He's willing to, to live on that razor's edge. Well, if, if you're going for lays, you, you have to. Like, um, especially with these, with these fragile ships, mm -hmm. because you need to, I mean, if you're flying the ace, you always want your opponents to not shoot at you. It's right. what you need. Uh, but if you are doing with ace, aces with really low health, like you really, really don't want your opponent to get uh, their firing arcs aligned at you. And the only way to do that is if you are, if you are moving last. Uh, uh, if you have like 195 or 197, you could try, but there is a possibility if you lose that initiative role, that then you have to play a, diff a completely different game. So I think those 10 plus points of bid is, is really good. Plus, I'm not sure if you could like, what, um, which upgrade should be missing in, in this list? I, I'm not sure. 
I think this list is fine. On paper. Let's see how this works against, uh, <laughs> <laughs> against the other list. Yeah, I mean, it's a very thematic, uh, very thematic opening. By the way, if anybody saw there on the overlay that it said that the Ada 2 has three shields, that is false. Uh, it is uh, just a mistake on the overlay. These ships are really, really new. Like, uh, when it comes to the points and everything, uh, not everything was ready. Uh, shout out to um, a tabletop.to for even being able to get the ships in here and parsed somehow. We didn't have that full week, uh, week in a little bit to, to get all the kinks out. But uh, we will, uh, over time, get, get all that solved, and I'm sure the ships will be, be good to go. We were kidding around like when the new points came, I think this week early, and there was also a new rules reference. And mm. no, 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 completely new, but some some parts were um, were new. Like it, it was going to be a lot of work for the streamers and for the judges of the event mm -hmm. <laughs> to to know some of the rules changes and some of the. That also the new ships, because there are a lot of, of new ships. Oh, Grievous just missed the rock? No. No, he just clipped it. Just oh. barely clipped it. We're going to get that roll, and it is a crit. It's going to be taking a shield there. Uh, that's the moment when, when, when Grievous don't want to suffer crits, is uh. when he, has the shield. he still has shields. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> this is not the time. <laughs> yep. Um... So looking at our, our Choose Your Champion betting right now, it looks like we have a 56% uh, favorite to the Jedi right now. Uh, with those bombardment dr drones leading into the corner, I, I'm a little worried about, we talked about the low health on these Ada 2s. They only have three hull. Uh, you could kill, just straight up kill one of these uh, Ada 2s with one of those proximity mines if they land that correctly. Yes, so um, that's really bold. I mean, <laughs> it's a bold here. one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, because that hyena could could launch the proximity mine next round, and I'm, I'm essentially blocking that way for for the Jedi, unless the Jedi can can kill the hyena first. Uh, I think uh, which one is uh, that's Blockoon. Oh, Blocker should be fine. All right. Anakin Scott. Anakin is scooting up here, looking at options. Remember, the Ion Cannon versus Droids makes it so that they can't do any actions because you're only allowed the focus. And if you don't have the focus action, you don't get anything. No, no action for you. That's right. And he's doing uh, an evade. Yep, I mean, he's going to lean on that force and uh, and the evade. Yes, the white evade on those. Really, really good. Very defensive. And with two dice attacks coming in can be really helpful. Of course, remember, Grievous doesn't even have an attack. So uh, this That's might right. be a free, uh, free, a free attack right here. Here we go. Uh, we'll see what weapon he chooses. If it's two dice, you know it's the primary. If it's three dice, it would be the ion cannon. I would choose the ion cannon probably on Grievous. Yeah, because Grievous is tokenless. Mm hmm. There it is, the ion cannon. Yep, ion cannon going into Grievous here. Sat ion cannon. Yes, yes. And uh, no target lock out there. <laughs> Do note that the Ada 2 has a purple target lock. So it costs a force to actually get a target lock out there. Uh, I doubt we're going to see very many target locks unless the Jedi have nothing else to spend the force on and don't have any shots coming in. It's going to be very rare. Here comes Plakun. Three dice attack. This is a Delta 7B. That's why you got three attack dice there. Got the trail mix. One of each. I'm not sure if you... You can spend the force. He's going to go well, ahead and leave it. He's, he's really conservative. I'm not surprised to see that. It's not the time to start taking risks. No damage. And also... With the Aeon Cannon, I think. 
I mean, you you are paying six points each. That's you right. May as well use them. You you pay, you pay for those points. You uh, you use them. And there's another just average roll. Remember the average on three dice is exactly that. And that's spending the force. Oh, Natty's on Natty. So Nick Ellis not able to get any damage through this turn. And here comes the hyenas because we will see on the rock. And oh, that's a good shot on Plo. Going range two, primary two on two. Plo Koon does have a focus available. Uh, that sounds. That seems fair. There you go. These guys just playing patty cake this morning, not wanting to do anything <laughs> to each other. Come on. It's, it's early for a Saturday, for a Peruvian Saturday. It's here it's uh, 9.30 in the morning. So maybe they are still wake, waking up. Okay, that's... Okay, there re really no damage this round. Ah, we, we still have a couple of shots. Still a couple of range three and or obstructed shots coming in. Uh, is he shooting obstructed that plot? He is. Mm, not sure if that's the right call. Both would be four dice. Got um, two hits. He does the... end, end up spending it here. And four dice. This is with the cloud conversion, and he's yep. safe. Uh, we have still blue. Just missing plot. Two dice coming in, and only going to be one hit. Uh, he doesn't so, have to calculate? Nope. Nope. And the squiggle, he's got an evade token out there anyway, so should be good to go. We're going to go ahead and close down the betting. Oh, it looks like it automatically closed, so we're good there. Thank you to everybody who participated in that. And welcome to everybody who has tuned in today. Again, want to remind you that today's event is a charity event supporting Casa de Todos, a Peruvian charity supporting homeless people in Peru, especially at this time of COVID-19, building semi-permanent and permanent housing for them. Uh, type exclamation point donate to get the link to the article where uh, they talk about it. It is uh, translated into English for, I know most of our viewers are English speaking, so you guys can uh, understand what, what going on there there's also a link direct direct link to their website it is in spanish but you know google translate your way through it if you'd like but at the bottom of the first article is the link to the uh do donation links so if you guys want to be generous and be giving in this holiday season you can go ahead and uh and donate to the lima open and as a as a as an organization as a group the lima open will be making that donation uh after after the event so uh, thank you to the Lima Open and the organizers for putting that all together. So looking at this turn, who do you think has the advantage, Pedro? Um, I would say uh, Juan Carlos because uh, the Jedi's, especially Plo and Obi Wan, are like really committed to to that space. I don't think. I mean, this could be a some kind of mind game uh, like obi-wan and Plo are not going straight because of the probable proximity mines that could be launched but also if you don't launch the proximity mines you could say okay uh, i don't think you will launch them i will go uh, just straight there the problem is there is a green vulture behind and that green vulture could launch a discord missile so mm -hmm. i think that discord is going to hit one Jedi, no matter what. Anakin, on the other side, is also in, in kind of a big trouble because there is Grievous and two Bultors there. So, what should Anakin? Where should Anakin go? Like he could try to disengage, like doing some uh, five straight or three bang to the left, and and try to get behind the formation. But it's going to it's going to cost him a round of not sh not shooting. So. Um, I, I don't like when I when I fly aces, uh, I don't like them committing in like two on the same space, and that was happening with Plo and Obi Wan. Yeah, these these two guys are going like only one ship when they should be like flying in three different vectors. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, I I like it. I like it. It's it's one of those where the idea is that you, you, because you have such low health, you're able to spread out your ships. It makes it so that it's less likely for you to get tracked down. 
Yes, uh, I understand if you want to give like some kind of pull ability, like you could risk Obi Wan with a with an evade. I mean, Obi Wan performs an evade action, then Plo could performs a focus action. Then you spend uh, one force from Plo's ability to give that focus to Obi Wan, but it's range zero too. It's not necessary to fly so so close to each other. Um, what's he doing? He's doing... Oh, the sister phase is the intuit intuitive controls. The purple boost and purple barrel and during the system phase. Intuitive <laughs> controls, one of those new ship abilities on the Ada 2s. I mean, it's, it's, I know some people have said like, oh, look, it's supernatural reflexes. I mean, it kind of is, but you don't have any information is the, is the thing. It does give you some awesome possibilities and flexibility, um, which can help you get in spots where maybe your opponent didn't expect it. But I mean, that's a tool that you can end up using to, for instance, maybe be in a, start the, in an engagement where a discord missile might be. And then the next turn, you're able to get out of it and get yourself in a spot where you might be safe. And with the three health on these ships, they need to be mobile. They got to stay away. All right. Plo, uh, Plo Koon taking uh, the target that, lock here, but he is in for some pain there. Yeah. That's going to be a proxy mine. Literally. On his face. Oh, that's a block. E. Okay. Obi Wan looking a little, uh, little worried there. Only has a single force because he did use those intuitive controls. A uh, quick, quick question: If Green launches the Discord missiles, does it, it I think it's just Obi -Wan? short. I think it's just short. But uh, I mean, but I think more scary than that is the fact that the bombardment drone can either drop in the front or uh, sorry uh, launch in the front or drop in the back. Uh, I think you drop in the back. You're gonna hurt. You're gonna hurt a ship. I think is the point. <laughs> yeah. The pain, pain is happening. Pain cometh. Oh. Just short. Yep. You were right. You were right. Yes. And remember, Obi Wan can uh, can do use those intuitive controls to barrel roll out of the way next turn and completely avoid that. Yep, and Anakin like, uh, yep, Anakin is flying away. He's trying to get behind the formation, but the problem is that three of the ships have turned around. There was a couple of K turns from the hyenas. And there was a uh, S loop from Grievous. So now Anakin is not behind the formation. They are behind him. Yep. And here's Here range comes. one. Oh. Only one. Dice are cold this morning. He took the target lock. There we go. Okay, That's no, looking better. No, Three hits. He's going to spend the force, not, maybe? Not so cold. There it is. Four hits. One blank means this vulture's done, but no, gets no, the natties. Yeah. So I mean, you, you, if you were expecting these uh, attacks from both Plo and Obi Wan, you would launch your your boss droids. There is no point of holding them. You're probably dead. Mm hmm. Uh, is that bullseye? Nope. No, barely out. Mm-hmm. It's going to be Ion Cannon because he only needs one more. All right, that's two hits. Uh, that was a Predator. Oh, so he's in the bullseye. He is just barely in the bullseye. And dies. Gone. Good game. Not good game. Good life. <laughs> good life. <laughs> Good day, little vulture. Good day. All right, and here Great. we go. The the droids are up. It is First time. The hyenas. It's uh, range two with no obstruction, right? No obstruction. We're gonna get at least three shots going into plow here. Just one hit on this first one. No mods. And it has to spend the force. 
Now comes the hyena also, range one. Mm -hmm. Three dice, but also again, unmodified. There it is. No oh. damage there. No damage. Okay, he has still one more from from Brown. I, I think it's obstructed or not. Uh, it will not be obstructed. It can be. It says a chosen as obstructed, which means you choose not. <laughs> That's gonna be uh, spending the calculate for hit crit there. Uh, let's see. In he will be taking a crit, but that is uh, still shields there on Plokun. So okay. getting getting out of that pretty good. Uh, yeah, but there is still the proxy mine coming. This is true. <laughs> now yep. some people were talking about the uh, the um. Uh, the intuitive controls on the Ada 2s, um, it's during the system phase, you can perform that uh, purple barrel roll or boost action. And when it comes to the system phase, it happens, I believe, in player order and then your ship's in initiative order from there. So uh, if Nick is the first player, which I'm not entirely sure what it is. I'm, uh, yes, he is the first player. We have it marked it there. Uh, since Nick is the first player, he would be able to barrel roll with Obi-Wan out of the way. So he's not in trouble, but Plo Koon is in trouble. Uh, are you sure it's first? Um, I believe it's player uh, it's tricky, it's tricky. Uh, There's, um, like, we, have, we, we see system phase going on but it's usually only one one player not, yep. not both of them let me check the, the, the yeah with reference. with these eight of twos the system phase matters matters much oh no it's during the this phase the sequence of players start with a ship with the lowest initiative and oh it is initiative ah oh. i had it twisted yeah. in my mind oh no <laughs> yeah so it's going to be yeah, so he can choose he got, he's got choice he's got yeah. choice Uh, I, I I think I think you drop it. I mean, you could launch it, and it's going to hit Plokun no matter what. But most likely, just just you are just going to take down the shields from Plo. Mm -hmm. uh, but with Obi Wan, there is a potential possibility of killing it. Um, you could also like mess around, like if you are really lucky, you land a crit, and it's that much sensor array. So no intuitive controls because he cannot perform other actions that um, focus on damage card. So um, plus there is a really strong possibility to bring one ship one ship down to one one health. So I think you drop it. Um, uh, but but this is like a really really weird position. Like now the Jedi's are going to a corner and the droids are behind the Jedi's. The hyena Grievous are behind already. Uh, the red hyena can do probably like a one straight and bump Plo. So when Plo going forward, the hyena is still behind it. Uh, Blue to Brown can do like a one hard to the left. Um, and Blue can probably like just rotate to the left. So they, they are going into a kill box, both Plo and Angobi Wen. You know what I'm going to do? I am going to add a command <laughs> for myself and for everybody out there. And I think I'm going to do a couple more of these as we go along. Uh, I just have not had a chance to do it. We're going to add the command exclamation point system phase or exclamation point system into the, uh, into the chat. So we can always check that system phase rule uh, so that we don't get it wrong a bunch of times. Okay, it doesn't <laughs> matter. He's, he's launching it. He's launching it. He's putting it on Plo Koon there. I'm not sure if this is the right choice, but he did it anyway. All right. And, and that he... could have been a dead Obi Wan. Ooh, one damage, two hits. Man, okay. Well, that is a fast way to get half points on Plo Koon. Yep, but again, that could have been a dead Obi Wan. I mean, Plo, Plo is clearly more expensive here in this list, but I don't know. I, I think the, the possibility of take down one ship 
Like the, the problem with the aces is like you have only three shots per round. Sometimes you don't have shots at all because like Anna King is you you pref you you prefer to to fly into a better position. If you take down one of the three ships, now you only have two. So that's a, a bigger problem for the ace player. I mean, it's nice to have some points, but if you cannot kill a ship, I'm, players at home can remember how many times they have a ship, an ace ship, an enemy ship, at one hole, two hole remaining, and then no more shots against that ship. They couldn't attack, and, and that end up costing the game. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the hyena is going. Red is going. Okay. I didn't say anything. No, <laughs> he tried I... to as loop. Okay. Well, tried to sloop. Looks like he's going to be kind of facing in a weird way. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. That was a gas cloud. That was a gas cloud. That's a gas cloud. So not, not too bad. He can still yep. uh, can use. Oh, looks like he's going to use. Obi-Wan's ability, he just pinged Obi-Wan. I'm still trying to get my uh, mind wrapped around. No, no, he, he, he has to use Anakin because that means after a following Obi-Wan Kenobi executes a maneuver, you may just... Oh, what? Uh, I mean, that's... Uh, the red is Anakin, it's after, so... So after you uh, execute oh, no, a maneuver... Uh, yep. And there are more enemies in your ships uh, other than friendly ships at range 0 to 1. You may spend one force. If you do, that ship gains a focus token. So no uh, no action penalty in this case. And especially against a droid swarm, you're going to be able to get that focus most of the time. And there's Anakin starting to bank in here. Yep. Uh, the problem here is the Obi-Wan doesn't have... Only have one token. I mean, um, you... Probably won't spend that on attack. Um, if Anakin is going after Grievous, Grievous is just exactly where he wants when he wants to defend. Out, the attacker is out of your firing arc, so you have that soulless one reroll. Let's see, and that's uh, okay. That, that's patience triggering for Plokun. Gaining a deploy token because he won't have any attacks. Ah, uh, recurring one force. And again, Who is he going deciding on a target here. I'm guessing this is Grievous. Because he's uh, got that, that bullseye lined up. Oh, nice. Yeah, he got hit, hit, crit. Um, he has a was one. Yeah, well, he I mean he's got the focus, so just he's gonna go ahead and spend it. Depending on why you got it, he does end up taking one shield. That is the second shield on General Grievous. Okay, now comes Obi. Um, gonna probably con continue the focus fire. Maybe go with the ion cannon. Yes. Yeah. Maybe and uh, I know you don't spend the focus. You, you just don't. No, no, no. This is not the time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, um, I know Grievous is still attacking here, but uh, if the yellow hyena drops a proxy mine, it hits Obi-Wan. Two hits going in. He's going from... after Plo. It's Grievous, so he has the roll. He's trying to take no. him off the board right here. Got two hits, and looks like we're getting one through. That's Plo uh, down to one. Uh, that's dead, because the red's going to drop the, the second proxy mine on him. I mean, probably, you're right. But <laughs> yep. Not yet. You can, He gets to live for just a little longer. Oh, you see, look, he's going to actually oh, yeah, go ahead and take that vulture shot. Anyway. He could be dead anyway, if that. I mean, yeah, if you can, save the, if you can save the proxy mine, why not? Spend the force uh, there. No. So at the very okay, least, so you end up you end up forcing the expenditure of the second proximity mine there. And now I I still don't know if yellow should drop a proxy mine here. I'm not sure if you hit Obi Wan. 
I mean, Obi Wan has that ability, like we talked about, to uh, to move out of the way. I don't. I, I think if he were to drop it right now, I don't think he actually hits him automatically. Um, Obi Wan has um a space to barrel to a left. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's, he's got to get skinny. Maybe. He's got to get skinny. Yeah, because ah, oh. I mean you 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 could boost. You have space to boost, but if if he drops the proxy mine, your template is going through the proxy mine, so you don't want to do that. Um, maybe he drops the proxy mine. It if it doesn't hit Obi Wan, Obi Wan can still have some space to turn to the right and avoid the proxy mine. Um, it's tricky. Man, I I hate when when uh, there are two like abilities that trigger during the same phase, and I'm not used to, like both intuitive controls are proxy mine, and I have to make my move, thinking if my opponents drop the proxy mine, or and also if my opponent doesn't. But I think Red is dropping the, his proxy mine no no matter what, no matter what. <sighs> So I'm sorry. I'm just I'm just reading some uh, some stuff here. Um, I just want to remind you guys we do have a bit of a of a chat delay today, and uh, it is just me and Pedro today. Let's see. Do we get it? And there's the backside. Are we going to get yellow dropping? No. That that, that was that was red. Yes, that's this one's red on Plo Koon. I'm I'm curious to see if we'll also see uh, red. Uh, I think yeah, yep, yep. He's flipping the token. Uh, oh, there's a yellow one and oh, does oh, yeah. barely hit. Oh. Yes. And he rolled two eyeballs for the proxy mine for Plo Koon. Let's see if he gets lucky. Nope. That's gone. Oh. Obi Wan is just gone. Just gone. Oh, Anakin, hero of the Republic. <laughs> I've seen this movie it's before. <laughs> yeah, I've seen this. <laughs> oh man, I've seen this. But the problem is, if Anakin can be hero of the Republic under thirty-six minutes. Well, I mean, it's, the Vulture droids do have the same problem that the Ada, the Ada twos do, right? They have low health. The, the additional thing weighing on uh, on Nicholas, though, is the fact that he's got only one ship, and there's a lot more uh, a lot more firepower on Juan Carlos's side. Yep, uh, it's going to take lots of rounds to. Uh, I mean, you, you could take one one bull through one round, but you have to get like real lucky mm -hmm. um the hyenas let's say you have to spend like a couple of rounds dealing with them and and king is coming i i'm not sure if this is a right and king you want to choose violence with because it's only three hole right <laughs> well i mean i think at this point nicholas is just looking for a good shot get some mov and uh, and see what you can leave with today I mean that, uh, that there's a bulldog hitting going to hit Anakin at range one, and and three hits coming oh. in. That is the ion cannon going at General Grievous, and he's taking a damage and being ionized there. That is half points. All he had to do was uh, no, sorry, not half points because he's got um, yep, the solus, solus one. one. Lies of the Jedi. Here's a shot back. Okay. No mods here. Two hits. And oh, close. takes one. Takes one. Uh, no, has has the bait. Has the bait token. Oh, has the bait token. Yep. Sorry. Yep. Not yet. Leaning into the evade token. He's got the force available. Second shot. Two dice. Range two. One crit. He does have a friendly calculate nearby. He takes the range one blue. So it's hit crit. Let's see. 
Oh, crit going through. What's that crit? Oh, that hurts. That much is alright. Damage sensor, array. Eh? So if he survives, no intuitive controls in the next round. That range one survive. shot misses. And, and he well, does make it. You... He, he makes it to the next round. Yeah, but he's in a really uh, it's a weird position. I mean, you know where Grievous is going to be. Uh, Blue is probably just going to stay in the rock. Uh, this is hard. This is hard because you only have your maneuver. You don't have it to the controls. You don't have the boost. You don't have the barrel roll. You cannot do an evade action also because you can only do the focus. So, um, I, I think the question would be how many rounds can Anakin survive? Ah, there, there are too many ships on Juan Carlos' side. Yep, and then we also have the, um, uh, the, the, there's still two Discord missiles out there as we continue into the game. It's gonna, it's yep. gonna be tough. I mean, you, you can barrel roll and boost away from them. The problem, of course, is that, uh, you're not able to do that until the following turn. So you're always, if you have it attached to you, you're always going to be taking that one crit. And here it looks like Juan Carlos is just trying to uh, cover up some of the lanes there, saying, "Listen, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna let you escape." Yep. That's Grievous. Even even bumping, he has like he only needs to do two damage. Yep. So you could bump. You have lots of ships here. Oh. And they're gonna be trading some range one shots there. I mean, the yellow... you have to. The yellow drone does also have a um, have still one proximity mine left. Oh, you're right. Mm-hmm. Okay, so Anakin here needs to needs to kill Grievous. Grievous is down to four health. Yep. Let's see. Oh. Mm. I, I don't think you spent. Uh, you, you have the predator. You have predator. Yep, I don't think you spent. You're not going to kill Grievous this round. And got the two squiggles. Okay, that's, that will be only half points. Well, at this point for Nicholas, every point matters. Every point matters. You're trying to see what MOV you can get on the way out here. Oh, hit crit. Let's see if Anakin evades. And another crit going through, and that's a direct hit, and that's a, that's a game. That is the game. Anakin Skywalker, not, not the hero we needed. All yep. right, so congratulations. Juan Carlos winning that game uh, 52 to 200.